Hey everyone, this is Coach Miller, Mr. Coach Miller, Matt Miller, Matthew Miller. If you were a teacher watching this, I don't mind those students you know to be professional. Coach Miller, Mr. Coach Miller, one of those two. That would be fine with me. This video is for the students. We've already done one Delta Math video introducing it for the teachers. Now it's time for you students. Creating a student account is very important. Whether you're one of my students or someone else is showing you this video, it's very important that you have three things before you ever try to make a Delta Math account. Those three things, your school email address and the password. That's the first two. The password for your school email, you got to create a password for Delta Math for students. I would just go ahead and make it the same password as you have all your other school accounts. And if you're using Google Sync, which is one of the videos on this channel, how to do that, you it should not be difficult to remember passwords, but you got to know your school email address password first. And the next thing you need to know is your teacher code. All right, your teacher code, um, if you're in my class, is on your Schoology account. If you don't have your teacher code, um, then you need to ask your teacher, but I'm sure he or she has given you that if you need it. So if you have those three things, let's get started. Okay, deltamath.com, that's where we wanna go. Easy, easy to find. Up in the upper right, hand, right, right hand corner, create an account. We want to create a student account. Okay. And the first thing it's going to ask you is your teacher code. Okay. So I made a teacher account to to do these examples with. So real quick, I took a picture so I would know the code. And I'm going to join at six four eight. Six, seven, eight. All right. So again, oh, it popped up. Coach Miller. So we're gonna name. Let's see. Billy. Bob. Bib. And his email address is. I'm just gonna use another. I have a lot of emails that I use for uh, different things, and it comes in handy making these videos. Gonna make a password. Okay, and I'm gonna create my student. Oh, very important. It's gonna make you. <laughs> it's gonna make you pick a period. All right, I'm pick first. Whatever period you're in, whatever class you're in, whatever section, whatever your teacher tells you, that's what you want to do. And I've created my account successfully. And I'm gonna have to be able to type this in one time successfully. So don't forget your password between now and then. All right, so. Ah, there we go. And then here's where the Google Sync comes in handy. Again, there's a video in the description if you don't know how to do that. You can save this, and it doesn't matter what Chromebook you pull it up on, what computer you pull it up on. If you're synced into your Google profile, it'll remember the password for you. All right? So here's the example assignments that I have in whatever period I picked it was. Um, and your, your examples are here. These are assignments. So if I click on one... It'll give me problems. I can try um, whatever I want. Let's see. These are, this is, there's 10 of these, and so 12 total. So ratio of squares to circles. There are two squares and 10 circles. I want to try that. And, oh no. There we go. So for every one square, there are how many circles? Well, we gotta simplify. That's five. So the ratio, boom, submit the answer. Are you sure? Yes. And there we go. If you got it wrong, it'd give you a big red X. We have an explanation there to make sure in case you just guessed, you can, you can try that out. Okay, so click up here to go back home. Um, student help video there's some different things you can look at so that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to create a student account 
that's all you need. So you need those three things before you get started. Uh, school email, password, and teacher code. That's it. It's easy to get started. Happy math. Um, happy that you stopped by, used my video. If you're one of my students in the virtual world. I hope this is helpful. If you need anything, send me an email. If you're one of my students, send it to my school email. If you're someone else out in the digital world, you can send it to my Mr. Coach Miller at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Coach Miller's Math and Tech.